Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Uphone Amor X9. As you can see right here, this is the pack of the phone. It's, it's come all sealed up. As you can see right here, available at www.uphone.com. Right here, this is the phone right here. As you can see here, it comes in a film covering the pack. Um, this is quite a weird pack cover. I must say quite attractive to look at the yellow and the black right here but that is not all about the phone let's have a look at what the manufacturer says about this phone for those who are classification crazy okay you can see here this phone is it has a 5.5 inch display screen it has a battery life of 5000 million per hour it has an octa core processor it's got a ram of 3 gigs and a rom of 32 gigs it also has a, a triple uh, rare fitting camera of 13 megapixel it has a face, uh, face unlock system. It also has a dual SIM slot. And by the way, it runs on the latest Android, I believe Android 11. Currently, this device runs on. It's got the NFC function as well. All right, guys, but that is not all about this device. We need to go into it and verify if it does really have these functions and see if the U phone is a phone that you can purchase today and start to use. And if you really enjoy the phone, we'll look into the phone and see how it really feels um, inside the phone as a user. All right, guys, without wasting your time here, I want to say if you like reviews, please go ahead and like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel because here I do reviews of devices, applications, softwares and all sorts. So you can actually um, stay posted with all the news on applications and devices. All right, guys, let's jump into this device and see what it has in store for us. Okay, so we have to begin by opening this pack right here and I'll use my knife as an assistance. Um, okay, we have to go um, this way, tear it open, as you can see right here. And to begin with guys, this, I like the fact that the earphone comes this package and um, uh, before I go further, I must say that there's one feature I didn't mention here, which is the fact that this phone, the manufacturer claims is waterproof. It's waterproof. So here you go, guys. It's waterproof. You can have do your dirty work with this phone and you still, uh, with, the phone will remain intact, which is what we're made to believe in this uh, video. So let's see, let's see what this is all about. Is it really waterproof? I mean, how to so how many inches of water is it waterproof? Is it like a fish? Can it swim everywhere? You know, in a pool of water. Let's see, let's see, let's see. In this video. Alright, guys. So we have succeeded in um unwrapping this film here. And let's go into the phone. Right, so looking at looking at um, the phone outwards, I can see that the phone is quite um a big a big uh, this is a quite a big pack and the phone does weigh a little bit. I'd expect this phone to weigh that much because uh, it's called a rugged phone. Rugged phone here, it has a lot of casing to it that protects the phone from damage. So I believe that I can understand that that the phone is going to weigh some you know some some bit. So let's go and um, let's go on with the. And unboxing. There you go. It's the U U Phone X9 rugged phone. There you go. Before we um, unmask it, let's look it into the pack and see what it comes with. Okay. So looking in, guys, I have seen something already which I like about the U Phone product. I said it the last time, I like the fact that manufacturers give time to very small details. It tells me that in the future, we are going somewhere with that manufacturer. They are ready to take us into like um, more intentional designs, which is one, one thing I like about devices. So you can see here, this is a little pin here, which I believe is used or provided for the purpose of resetting the phone. And every phone has got that function, that, that reset button there which is like a small hole somewhere around the side of the phone. I'll show you in this phone. Um, so people most times use that safety pin, they use our office pins to, you know, to go in there. But I like the fact that they've provided something that's, you know, looking nice and sterile, I believe. And it's right here provided with the phone. So this is very good here. I can tell that this is an intentional design common amongst your phones. I can see. Now going in here, you can see here, this is the U phone tempered glass, it says here. 
uh, okay it comes with the tempered glass the 9 hit hardness scratch resistant and tempered glass right here which is good i like that i really 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 like that i really like that there you go guys so it tells you something the same thing i said it's more intentional the design is more intentional i like the manufacturer for that reason as you can see right here it says here fingerprint resistant um ultra clear scratch resistant 9h hardness it's also shutter proof that is what we're looking for in phones here when manufacturers try to protect the phones and show you that they care about this device i think it reflects a lot on um or it extends to how the customer manages the phone eventually when they purchase the phone so you can see here it has um, a phone charging instruction guys this is so weird why would you attach a phone and charging instruction i mean everybody knows how to charge a phone for christ's sake so why do you need this to advise your customer clearly this is also something that every manufacturer should include in their package and not assume that the client or the customer has got knowledge of all these bits so if you were like a first time phone user you would still know how to use the new phone x9 okay but going in, you can see here, this is a multi-function instruction booklet or leaflets. As you can see here, um, it tells you guys, guys, you can actually swim with this phone. It's crazy, you know. My argument was that, you know, if you say your phone is waterproof, to what depth of water, you know, would we say it's waterproof, you know. But I can see here that this is that to unlimited length or depth of water. So you can go deep down with this and you still be fine with the U phone clearly here. You can actually record underwater. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about here. The U phone is very, very good for underwater camera recording. As you can see right here, it tells you how to record underwater with the camera. So this is also attached, um, added to the pack. Um, that's good. And he had the warranty card for the U phone x9 ammo x9 you can see right here the warranty card warranty statement this is all here in the pack uh guys for the first time i've never seen a phone that's got this many leaflets or guides within the pack but here you can tell that these guys have some time to print you know they've got a good printer <laughs> obviously and they're ready to like instruct the users on how to use the device uh, because i believe they consider the device as precious mm, i like that okay so um going on guys you can see there's another one here this is a safety prompt card here and the next one here says the ammo x9 user manual this is the main the main book a booklet to tell you how exactly this phone should be used here all right so we can see here unfortunately guys we don't read these um on the video because we believe we can use such phones but i will say to you if it's your first time using the u phone please go ahead and read all this it will help you use the phone more efficiently here it just tells you what where what is and all the function the flash and all that i mean uh, we know what the flash is your phone i'm sorry but <laughs> just in case you don't know uh, what the flash is you can read this and this will help you find the button that says flash the flash comes out this way okay guys so that is for the user manual which we're not going to read and here there's another manual here that says here what to do if your u phone can't connect to network data okay all right so when i see these many documents within the phone here i get a little bit worried right i start feeling like oh has the phone got a problem already i mean are the manufacturers anticipating this problem why do i have to use all these guides why am i provided with you know all this yeah you know because i looking at this i know that that there could be a problem at any problem with this phone maybe long term because i had a phone um a Lenovo vibe p1 sometime in the past and it's right here actually it's right here i'll show it to you this phone is a fantastic phone and i've used it for like ages but i noticed something crazy with this phone here i noticed that sometimes the phone is right here that sometimes this phone tends to disconnect disconnect you know to uh from the network when it's left for a while you know it just disconnects by itself i'm like why you know if it's not used for a while it disconnects from the wi the wi-fi 
and I have to like reconnect it before you know something happens before I get a message or I get a message on WhatsApp that kind of thing is was really crazy so I am beginning to suspect that maybe just maybe the U phone has the same problem I'm not saying it does guys I'm just saying that I'm getting worried about all these things I'm saying here notice do this if the phone doesn't do this you can do this and do that I'm thinking that maybe this phone has got something has got a problem I don't know but I'm, I mean I'm not saying that like I said I'm just hoping that the phone is a good phone a fresh phone and these are just the, the manufacturer's way of protecting the clients and the consumer and helping them use the phone even better so let's just believe that at this point and let's go in this is the charger as you can see this goes in here into the plug and this goes into the phone so this is granted i mean every phone should have this and this is a simple charger i like it to pin is okay i believe uh, yours could be different because this uh, this are uh, like um the, uh, the canada sort of style right the north american style i believe if you're in the uk you'd have something different um yes yeah, so that's not uh focus for today let's talk about this uh, this is about uh, this looks to me like um about uh two feet long or just three feet long or thereabouts but it's about three feet long i think this is good enough for charging i hate whenever you have a very small a very short charger for phones it makes you me think that what are they thinking am i am i am i that small i mean i could want to charge my phone like you know and be in bed and do stuff i mean it's not visible but i mean i do it so i believe you do it as well so that's the reason why i like long chargers so that's a good thing it's fairly long i would say so let's get these out of the way and talk about more interesting things like this this is the phone right here you see once more manufacturers are thinking and thinking they're thinking they're conscious of safety of you know, of protecting the phone so this the way the phone comes and you can slide out this way and this can wait and here once more the U phone they start to sell themselves again oh yeah the phone has got a 5.5 hg screen oh yeah it's got a battery life of this oh yeah it's waterproof have you heard you know it's got this face unlock it got it's got that but guys here yeah, these uh, these phones come with a lot of functions sometimes but i say if it's got a camera what is the quality of the camera does it feel like um 30 megapixels as they say these are questions that the buyer wants to really understand and know by the way speaking about the weight of this phone this the phone weighs weighs a bit <laughs> it weighs a bit and if i threw this against um your head you would have um your head will be swollen for a while for days for years maybe <laughs> i mean it's a very heavy phone here as you can see right here so it's for people who have to work in site engineers most times who work in the field and you know could drop the phone or for people who do like hard tasks and uh, have a have and the phones have a greater risk of falling into you know bad areas i think this is this is what this phone is built for to withstand pressure or shock water spill and all that so this is what this phone is built for and so mm, even if you don't have all those uses you know or all those if you're not in that category of job i would say um it's okay you're fine to buy this phone as well if you like it eventually um so this is really hard and thick right here behind it as you can see and this is the flash oh yeah i found the flash is a flash and then this is the on button i believe this is the volume control up and down here uh, okay and this is the on this is this is a side button okay this, i thought this was the on but clearly this is probably for screenshots because this is what the ufo does it gives you a slot for for um screenshots and then gives you one side for the on the power button and then looking at here you can see here this is the sim card and sd card slot right here um you can open it this way and you pull this out okay so that's how it works for those who are um, not abreast with using this right so that's how it works if you um i like the fact that it opens this way but i'm worried about something guys this when it comes out this way right the connection between here and inside is a little bit of a it looks like wobbly a little bit wobbly it's not it doesn't seem very firm which worries me because this could actually um cut off after a very short time which is 
normal with some phones. Um, but I'm worried about this already. Yeah, that could happen. If it happens, what's going to happen? <laughs> happening, happening, happening. Okay. So guys, you can see here, it says the phone is shockproof. So you can slam it. Yeah. And shockproof. Okay. I, I, and I really, I believe, I believe it's shockproof right here. I believe it's shockproof. This is a USB slot where you can actually insert um, the port where you can insert and charge your phone. This the the um, this looks like the headphone jack right here. And I keep wondering where where are those days when phones usually came with uh, a pair of headphones? You know, these days phones don't come with headphones. Phones just come like that, like you know, take the phone. You know, if you want if if you want to listen to music, you play it loud. You know, you, you we don't have headphones for you. I mean, they came with I mean, not very techy headphones, very normal headphones. You know, with uh, you know, earbuds sort of right, but wired, wired. But these days they don't have any sort of things. But that's okay. But this is your um, your phone um, port right here, the three point five millimeter jack um, to connect your wired um, headphones if you wanted to. Um, by the way, it's, it's got Bluetooth, so you can always connect wirelessly as well. So going into this phone, let's um, switch on the phone by doing this. And then there's a slight vibration. And then we have to unwrap this, sorry. Take it off gradually. This is now time to use the phone. So you can see right here is button. It says here U phone, and I've been saying U phone for a while now. I hope I'm I'm pronouncing it correctly because it looks like it's not English, right? U phone. Okay, so it says here hi there. As usual, start button. I'm gonna click, I'm click on start, and then I will um, connect to mobile. No, I'm gonna skip here. I'm going to set up offline. Continue. It says just a sec. And I'm sure you can't see the screen. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Okay, now it's better, I guess. Now it's better. Let's see if you can focus. It's still very bright on the screen. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you this way. This looks better. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I guess it was really reflective the first time, but now it's clearer. Okay, so you can see the date. I'm going to say next. Um, Google terms and conditions. It's, I didn't read them, but it's okay. Do I want a fingerprint? Um, it's got a fingerprint lock, guys, and also um, a pin. So I'm going to skip this phase. I'm going to skip this anyway. And go to the next step where it says it loads the screen okay right so i would advise you guys the moment you purchase this phone make sure that the first thing you do is to charge the phone the reason is because some of these phones are stored for a long time before they're sold and um, they could get um, they could get like low battery um so to avoid that make sure you charge the phone before you start to use it and it helps it helps a lot i haven't done like this video clearly because um it's a review video, I mean, because I'm, I'm luckily the phone is charged. Your phones don't respond to this double tap on the screen. I don't know why. So, click back the start button, and it comes on. Okay. So you can see here it says Tuesday, September. Wrong date, by the way, but yeah, that's fine. You can see the apps are right here. Scrolling left, you can see more apps. It hasn't got many apps, to be honest. Just a few apps right here and if you go in here you can see more apps it's got um youtube pre-installed <laughs> it's a google phone what do you expect and gmail as well that's good expected by the way okay so let's go to the settings and have a look at um, what it carries in the settings section okay so let's go to settings phone settings right here settings Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Android Auto, Auto, Hotspotting. It's got um, all these functions here. You can set the display to what you want it to be. Navigation bar, the sound, the apps, the notifications, the biometrics and password. Fingerprint stays right there. You have the custom key. 
Okay, that looks good. It looks good so far. Battery here, location settings, accounts, about phone. Let's go to about phone. Let's see, it's the U phone. Ammo X9, as you can see right here. Okay, so let's just go away from here. Let's go away from here. Okay, so there is a little bit of a discovery that I've made right now. Now the thing is, the screen is not very sensitive to touch, <laughs> which is something I noticed with the previous U phone um, that I reviewed here. I have to tap really hard on the screen, so it's not like touch screen. It's more like punch punch screen, which is really funny, guys. I have to punch the screen to respond like that. You see, what I'm saying that's wrong. It's supposed to be like a very light touch. I mean, sometimes it responds, but I'm very conscious of it because I think it's not as sensitive as my my phone I use right now. I use the um, Galaxy S20. Um, it doesn't. It's not as sensitive as this. As um, as this is not like that one. Um, so that is one thing you should look out for here. And this, I mean, it's simple. It's not like it's a bad phone. I'm just saying, like, you have to intensify your touch while you scroll through and all that. It connects by via Bluetooth, and also this is your Wi-Fi connection if you have a Wi-Fi service. Okay, so going down here, we are through with our settings. Let's go to a different aspect of the phone. Let's go to, let's see, let's go to camera and have a look. Yes, camera settings right here. Yes, yes. This is the camera, as you can see. Camera right here, this is my, this is my hand. And the camera is reacting to the light, the light in, in the background, which is, I understand there's a lot of bright light around here, which is the reason why my hand looks like it's terrible. My hand looks terrible, by the way, it looks terrible. Oh my goodness. It looks like a, like a, a piece of dry wood. But <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, the camera isn't so great, guys. This is what I was telling to you now. You see, this is, this is not a fair judgment, I understand. This is nighttime and this is just like, uh, the room is lit by just bulbs here and there and you know, lighting it's not like natural light however i think the camera isn't very fantastic um which i i don't i don't think is a fault of the you know the manufacturers because that is not the selling point of the phone that is not what they brag about they brag about it being waterproof and it being able to withstand shock shock and pressure and all that so i wouldn't say it's bad let's see if we added some beauty to it some beauty Make me beautiful. Make me. I, it still looks dry and terrible. It's within my skin. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. So that's that's the way it looks, guys. You can see here that yes, it, it captures good, but there's nothing too great about the camera. It's a normal camera. 13 megapixels is not so great, but I'll say this is the on the poorer side of 13 megapixels for the camera. It's got flash, but it's not about flash now. It's about it's about the lighting and the way it's you know re, re, it um, shows pictures. Generally, it's not the best. It's not the best, and this is the video section. Oh my god, the video! I don't like this at all. Uh, in my opinion, the camera is poor. It's poor, especially at night. It's poor. This is not. Nah, nah. This is poor. But this is poor guys, so don't expect anything too good from the camera. The Uphone camera, the Uphone X9, Ammo X9 camera isn't the greatest camera. Um, so speaking about that, um, you see here that the Uphone has some apps that are quite interesting. For instance, it's got the, um, the Child Spa, it's got, um, what else, what else, what else, what else? FM radio, sound recorder, which is good. I mean, I don't use that those apps a lot, but um, it's a good thing that it's here. Now, also don't forget that you have your Google Play Store where you can uh, sign in and download apps if you happen to need any apps. Um, so that's that's okay. That's understood already. It's a Google phone. I mean, an I so an Android phone. I mean, um, so this is just um, this is just um, the way the phone comes, guys. I hope I wish the phone came with some 
some games just so that we could play some games i'll show you how the game displays on the screen and you know the graphics and all that but it doesn't come with that um, um unfortunately um, but let's see if there's anything that's interesting about this phone uh, yeah you can see here right so there's nothing much in this phone guys there's nothing much it just is a note if you like a normal note here you can write you can add the notes allow you can you can actually write it with your finger you have to type it you have to type it and when you tap it, the phone vibrates you know it vibrates <laughs> that is interesting guys the phone vibrates when you type i think it's a setting and i don't like that setting because it's it wears out the battery really quickly okay so guys that's it hasn't it has a note um application which is okay it's just okay as you can see right here so guys this is the phone the um your phone ammo x9 as you can see the main selling point of this phone is that the phone is waterproof and you can withstand pressure to be honest there's nothing else about this phone that you haven't seen before i know we went to camera and we said it was poor if we turn the camera around for example we turn it this way let's say we turn it this way uh the camera around how is that done now so if we did this oh my god and turn the camera around by doing this okay so this is very weird guys this is so weird i've never seen where i've had to look for the switching button you know when you go to a camera okay it's right here okay i was too quick to conclude it's right here you can switch the camera around okay and that's my ring light that's my phone recording this video and you can see right here that the front camera isn't uh -huh, it's okay it's okay i mean it's not great so don't you expect anything too much from the U phone camera to be honest don't expect anything too great it's just a normal camera and it's it's not like a, and the manufacturers know about this they haven't said it's the greatest camera so i understand so if you're looking for a phone that can withstand pressure and shock that's waterproof then this is going to be the phone for you if you're looking for a phone that has great camera this is not the phone for you if you're looking for a phone that has got um games and has nice graphics and the screen very touch sensitive this is not the phone for you that's what i can say for you um, um, to those who are thinking about uh, uh, buying this phone um so think hard about it and um i can say that this phone is going to last for a very long time because of the way it's protected by the manufacturers on the sides and everything you know and i will advise you once more to read the manual guys because there could be some functions here that we are not go, um, exploiting or exploring rather so which is why you need to read this manual carefully to see where all these functions are um i believe this is a normal phone it's a normal phone so i don't see what should be difficult in using this phone but just in case you never can tell i would advise that you read this manual okay guys this has been a wonderful review guys thanks for sticking with me on this video and this has been the, re the review of the your phone ammo x9 uh rugged phone and so far so good it's a nice phone well protected it will last very long it's got a camera which is not the best a front camera and back camera um but overall this phone is um it's fair for especially for those who um are in construction and you know they, they involved with hard work and the phone the phone the phone their phones fall frequently then they would need a phone like this to you know withstand shock all right that said guys we've come to the end of this video and it's a wrap up thank you for watching and have a wonderful day and don't forget to uh, like subscribe and share and um, i shall see my next video bye for now peace